Hello everyone, Bert Jones here to talk to you today about the V-Link software, how to use it um, from Viper RC Solutions. First step is to go to the Viper RC Solutions um, website and download the correct version of the software for whatever ESC you're using. So for this video we're going to update a VTX10 Red Edition. So I've already downloaded the software, it's right here. We'll open it up and it gives us a little warning just letting us know to make sure that you're using the correct version of the software for whatever ESC you're using at the time. We'll hit OK. That opens up our V-Link um, window here. The next step here is to take the vehicle with the ESC in it. You do not need to take the ESC out of the vehicle if you don't want to. Um, you don't need to disconnect it from your motor anything like that. You just need to make sure that it has a ba battery in it and then you're going to take your V-Link cable, attach it into your V-Port, um, same way that you would a Pro Gauge. If you don't have a Pro Gauge, your pro, the V-Port is the th open three-prong outlet that's on your on-off switch. So plug that into there while making sure that you have your negatives on the correct side. Then the next step is to plug your USB port into your computer. You'll see the red light on the V-Link start flashing and uh, so you know that you have a good connection. From there, you're just going to turn on your ESC. You're going to hear your ESC cycle on as it normally would. And then um, once it has cycled on, you're going to hold down your on-off button for one second. That's going to activate your orange and red LEDs, indicating that you're in program mode and you're ready to rock and roll. Okay, now that we're connected, we see here from this uh, little message that our V-Link is connected. It gives you a green light. So now we can look down here at our firmware version. Uh, this shows what your current firmware version installed is, and this shows if there's an available update. As you can see, I already have version 5.5 .5 updated on this ESC, but we're going to go ahead and update it anyways. That message just lets you know that um, once you update the firmware, all your values are going to return to factory defaults. So if you've made any changes um, with a pro gauge to your profiles, you want to go through um, with your pro gauge before you update and write down your settings just so that you can remember them and then once you update the firmware you can go back in and uh, change everything back to the way you wanted it so here we go we're almost done gives us a little message that our, our firmware update is complete and that we'll have to do a quick uh, radio recalibration before our next use so we hit OK there and now your your firmware is up to date okay once you've got your firmware updated that's when you can go ahead and choose which profile you want um, if you refer to your manual or on the Viper website you can see which profile is um, you know meant intended to be used with what application so I'm gonna run a 17.5 stock buggy with the CSC so I'm gonna choose profile 1 and um, hit update ESC that gives you a good starting point I like to make a few adjustments so if you go up through these tabs here you can see all the adjustments that you can make for your brake strength your curve it has some cool animations here to let you know you know just what you're doing by adjusting your brake curve expo um, I like all that where it is your smart brake system you can adjust your dynamic curve if you use it a lot of those things um, only thing I like to use here for this application is 10% of drag brake from there we'll go to throttle and you have your punch, your dead band. I like to run no dead band with a 17.5 buggy. Um, your next tab over is going to be motor power. That's not going to be available unless you change to race open mode, which is over here in the next tab. So unless you can choose a run mode, practice is the only run mode that allows you to use reverse. Um, so you can, if you want reverse, you'll have to go to practice. And then race open mode, that allows you to go back here to this tab and you can read the warning and click this and that allows you to start applying boost um, you know as it says in the manual and as it says here be very cautious when you're applying any kind of boost to the ESC it's always better to start with end bell timing and adjusting your gearing but if you do want to adjust it um, that's where you would do it last tab here is your protection it has your lipo cutoff and your motor and ESC temp cutoffs I like all those um, right where Viper has them so I make sure I'm in race blinky mode go back here hit the update ESC button and you're good to go. One final note here on a, a cool thing you can do with the V-Link related to profiles, guys, is that um, once you get your profile set up for whatever car you're going to use it in, you can go here to the rename. And since I'm going to use 
that profile one I made some custom adjustments and I'm gonna use it in a 17.5 buggy I'm gonna go ahead and just change the name of it to 17.5 buggy that way you know if you change if you ever take this out and put it in a take the ESC out and put it in another vehicle and then put it back in your buggy you can remember which profile you used and everything will be set up and good to go for you so that's one nice little uh, customization feature that Viper threw in there so that you can quickly change using you know whether you use your pro gauge or you use a v-link you can change and get all your settings back quickly and get out racing on the track so hope this video was informative thanks for using Viper products um, if you have any questions just contact us through the website or um, you know on RC Tech there's lots of guys being very helpful on a you know a few of the other RC forums out there so happy racing go team Viper have a great day